Okay, welcome to the very simple tutorial on how, or video tutorial on how to use brainstormgenerator.com. It's very simple. I thought I'd do a video tutorial because some people are struggling with it. The reason why, I'm not too sure. It's very, very simple. This is exactly what I do all the time on all my computers. I have brain running on four computers 24 hours a day seven days a week and all I do is this I'll start a new project I will choose the web source feature next then we need a URL the easiest way a simple URL is eBay type in kids stuff then I copy the URL the resulting URL put that in in brain click next step 3 button I will choose Pete's choice filter this means that brain will, will only return niches or keywords that have more than 6 AdWords in Google and have less than 2 million competing pages in Google it's as simple as that to me I think that is a great niche if I check the, the quotes box, it will search in Google with quotes surrounding the term. Personally, I don't like that. I always leave it off to give me a real idea of how competitive the pages are in Google, or the niches are. If I check this show bids box, Brain will also go to Overture and show you how, how much people are paying for the top bid for this term. Personally, I don't use it because it, it means for every couple of hundred keywords it searches you have to enter a capture into brainstorm generator the overture capture personally I just run it without that and then later I can save the niches to a text file and run those niches via the local file setting in brainstorm generator and it does it through one capture so you can do it that way if you like doing it this way means once you press finish that's all you need to do. You need to leave it, come back once it's finished, and find all the little gold nugget niches. Right now, what Brainstorm Generator is doing, it is scanning that web page or the URL that we just entered. It's doing a lot of things. All I can tell you is that it will find every page, every word on this page that is greater than four characters it rejects the bad words then it does a lot of other stuff as well and it will generally find 5,000 words to analyze per web web URL that you enter once it's found these it will then display them by the name of the keyword how many searches there are in how many how many times each niche was searched for last month in overture it will show you how many AdWords there are in Google and it will show you how many competing pages there are in Google as well. For the purpose of this video, I will pause the video for now and come back once this has uh, finished collecting all the collecting all, collecting and analyzing all the words. See you in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Brain's been running for about three and a half hours, so I think that's long enough for now. I'll just stop it and we'll have a look at what we found. Okay, brain stopped. So this is what we do next. Click on one of the fields, press the up button, or the page up button, till you get to the top, and then sort these niches by search. They're the lower searches. These are the highest searches. Okay, there's some great, there's some great niches there. Um, look at that scrapbooking idea: twenty thousand five hundred thirty-nine searches per month, with only one hundred eighty-three or one million eight hundred thirty thousand competing pages in Google. How good is that? From here, you'll notice that the bids are all zero personally I don't worry about that if 
the search is good and the results are low, I will just make a website about it. I'm not all that, all that too concerned about the big price. Generally, as long as I'm getting traffic, I'll be happy. So what I do now is save this to a spreadsheet. Just have a look at these niches. And I will use from here upwards. Insert a line. my thing there you go if I make one website one blog because I I use viral links together I'll make one blog for each of these niches found that means for this one domain that has all these individual niches on it for this domain there will be 172,000 searches for the terms that I'm using each of these terms have under 2 million competing web pages so this is going to be a great domain this is what I do next and I'll press control C and there then I'll just paste that into viral instigator and then I'll make a website based off these keywords and I know because very, there's very little competition for these that these blogs that I make using these niches will do very very well it's as simple as that.